Hello, and this is a quick addendum to my Lictor video. I like to keep my videos at around 10 minutes because I like my stuff short and to the point. Uh, this is going to talk into a little bit of the kiting tactics, hit and run tactics, and deep striking tactics that I've used with the Lictor to my advantage. First, hit and run. Lictors cause fear. Use it. Make them make as many fear checks as you possibly can. Uh, if they fail a field check, stay in hand-to-hand, -hand, start beating up on things. If they make a fear check, do your hit and run, run away, make them do another one. Uh, make them charge, or if they need to, if they want to assault you. Um, second, objectives. Use that no deviation rule for chameleic skin. When you're placing those objectives, place them in a place where people can't walk or run or get to. Be, place them in the most annoying places on the board that you can deep strike to and then stand around that point. That's always good. Use that to your advantage because then when you have the other advantages like uh, you know, alien cunning for the swarm lord, which gives you the plus one for your for your reserve rolls and comms relay, which allow you to re-roll failed uh, deployment checks. Combined with the lictors, no deviation on employment, you can pretty much get to objectives uh, or pretty close to them by turn two. So. Put those objectives in annoying places, land on top of them. Um, the other one, as I was, I was saying, it's also good for super scout hunting, getting rid of those pathfinders or other things like that. Marker light units, definitely good at killing marker light units. Uh, the few times that I've seen people with like drone networks and the drone controller is, is, is somewhere in there, uh, go and hit them. Another good one is, is like I said, uh, basically uh, hit anybody that doesn't want to be attacked. Those, those artillery units sitting back, or if you have um, what I call the strike force, which means one lictor comes in as a scout for the non-deviation, and then the turn after that, usually turn three, a squad of three lictors drops down on top of it using pheromone trail. Uh, this can punch through light vehicles because they have rending claws so the sixes you know give you the the chance to to get a at least a glancing on it take off some of the hull points um another one is on top of buildings inside of buildings a lot of people like to set up inside of buildings uh a, run inside the building land on top of it if it's a multi-story building like a bastion and then go down on the inside uh they'll they'll end up running out of the building. The key thing about it is, is it's a disruption unit. Focus on the disruption ability of the of the lictors more on, than on the hand-to-hand. -hand. And always, as I said, keep another unit in reserve or keep your Malwoks on ongoing reserve. Something like that so that you, or the Spore Mines, or the Shrikes, or any other deep striking unit. Uh, Ravners, if you prefer those. Uh, especially if you want to get into into the hand-to-hand -hand very quickly. Bring the other units in, kite your opponent, let them try to chase you, and uh, or use them as a guard for your Death Leaper. One of the other thing games that I was in, I left my I usually you know forward deploy my Death Leaper because it has it can only get hit by snapshot fire. Let people get close. Let people think they're going to be in assault range, and then turn two, turn three, bring down your entire army. Well, not the entire army, but you know what I mean. Uh, units on top of those people who think they're going to come in and kill your warlord. This is just some helpful tactics. You know, nothing's perfect. Nothing's going to be an I win tactic all the time. These are just ideas on how to build Tyranid armies and how they're not as non-competitive 
as many other people out there would make you think that they are. Uh, and plus, I find that infiltration and control and disruption armies are very, very aggravating to, to, to opponents. They have all their special equipment and everything, and they just can't use it. And they just can't get in combat. If they want to get into melee, stay away from melee. If they want to shoot you, get into melee. That's the control. That's the thinking you should have if you're playing Gene Stealers and Nictors and Death Leapers. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you keep watching. Subscribe if you do. Thank you.